it's me coral <laughs> welcome back to my channel it's been it seems like forever since i filmed a video um it has been forever my second grader started virtual learning this week it is hellish i don't know how the teacher does it i don't know how my kid sits with earphones on for six hours listening to kids talk in the mic like this and like staticky noises and like that horrible noise when somebody's inter internet connection isn't great so like they're talking and it's all kippy like that you know what i mean oh my god it's horrible <laughs> it like makes me very anxious oh it's been awful and it's just like hard on my kid to do that because i'm her mom and she doesn't want to listen to what i'm telling her to do and also like she's good at listening to her teacher at least but like it's not quite like she's in the classroom and holy shit it's horrible i could talk about this for forever <sighs> so um i know for the next couple weeks as we adjust to this it's pro my videos are probably going to be uh, a little more sparse than usual but i'm here today with <laughs> holy shit i'm already two minutes into filming this um, I'm here with a review of Wonderland by Zoya Stage. This is a book I read earlier this month and it's taken me a while to get to the review but I'm here finally. I've got this and I'd like to tell you a little bit about it. So this is the second book I believe Zoya Stage has written and this is for sure the second one I've read of hers. Um, her debut was Baby Teeth. Does it say? I don't know. Um, her debut novel was Baby Teeth and that was kind of like a book about a creepy kid who uh, was willfully mute and kind of tormented her mother and then also had her father wrapped around her finger so it was very much like the father didn't see these bad behaviors she was having and uh, kind of was gaslighting the mom about it and that was really good i liked it some people didn't like it i gave it a solid four stars i thought it was good ending hmm. so going into this i had fairly high expectations um the synopsis sounds cool uh i will give you a little summary of the book so you can you know think about how cool it is with me so this is a story about a family uh who they're relocating from New York City to a more remote part of New York. It's in the winter, so it's like when they move, it is total culture shock for them. Like it's dead silent and there's all this wildlife all of a sudden. It's a huge change for them. The main character we follow, her name is Orla and she is the mother of this family. She is a retired ballet dancer, like recently retired. And part of the reason she has decided to retire is to kind of take a back seat in the family and take on more of the mothering role, which is what her husband Shaw has been doing basically since they had children. They have two children. The oldest one is nine. I think the other one's like four or five. Um, they have a daughter and a son. And so she's kind of taking over the more parental role now. So Shaw can kind of explore this passion he's developed for painting. Um, and that's kind of why they moved out of the city is so Shaw can kind of find his muse and explore his talent. Right away you can tell there's some tension. Orla didn't necessarily want to move to such a secluded place. I mean, they are in the woods there aren't very many i mean they never talk about any neighbors that they have so i'm assuming that if they have neighbors they're you know quite quite a ways away it's very remote it's like a place where i mean i wouldn't say it's like a cabin in the woods kind of remote but remote enough to where they don't have any close neighbors they're surrounded by woods the nearest town is miles away kind of a thing. Right away when they move in, Orla starts having strange experiences around their house and it's not necessarily like the house, it's more like things that are happening outside the house on their like land, on their property. Like weird things happening with the snow, 
weird things happening with creatures that she's seeing, critters outside and things like that. And she's not really sure if um, she is overreacting because she, you know, did not want to be this secluded from civilization. She's never lived this far out of the city before. Uh, so she's not sure she's overreacting. She doesn't want to seem like she's overreacting to her husband. And she's having a, she knows she's having a hard time with the move. She's like, is this stress? Is, are these just like na natural phenomenons I've just never experienced before? She's having a rough time with this move. And I think that's all that I will tell you about this plot because I think I could very easily give too much away. Even the synopsis for this is very, very vague. So I'm going to echo that and uh, remain vague in my, <laughs> with the rest. I don't wanna, I don't wanna spoil anything. So what did I think about this book? I thought this was a snoozer. It felt so long. Uh, the pacing was very, 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 very slow. It seemed very repetitive. It was like the wife, Orla, she would have these strange experiences and then, you know, everything would be okay. And then another weird experience would happen. And then things would be okay. And it went on like that for most of the book. Um, I will say though, Zoya Stooge's writing is really nice. It like, it kept me, it was like, it, I don't know. It was, it was, it's hard to, I guess, verbalize. I keep stuttering, but it's hard to verbalize exactly how I felt when I was reading this book because it was equal parts like, this writing is nice and like I kind of want to get to the bottom of what's happening on this land, but also why am I still reading this? It, it It's really hard to, I don't know. Um, it's really hard to give you a concise, like one concise answer about the pacing of this book, I guess. It's kind of weird. The plot was very unique though, and that did keep me like I really wanted to know. I wanted to know what was going on and Zoya Stage's writing is nice. There were some very eerie parts where it's like you're with this character and you don't know, like, are these just normal natural phenomenons that maybe I just have not heard about just like this main character or is it something that's sinister? I also had kind of an issue with the characters in this book. None of them were especially interesting in any way and I'm not saying that I can't, if if a character is like dislikable on purpose like that I can't still enjoy that character because I can and I do kind of really enjoy unlikable characters but these people were just kind of boring Orla and maybe this was purposely because this role is set up perfectly for her to be like helpless and annoying about it um, so, I mean, that could be pur purposeful, but I really felt like she was annoying and just like so dependent on, so, de so dependent and like really having a really hard time with the change, but in a way that was just so, oh, I was like, okay, get over it. This is your life now, you know? And maybe that just is like an issue with me, <laughs> like my issue, but man, she was just kind of hard to, it was hard to be in her mind for the whole book. She was just kind of insufferable. Um, there was also their daughter, uh, her name was Eleanor Queen and they don't ever call her just Eleanor. It's always Eleanor Queen. And it's so, I'm sorry, but that's just so, <laughs> I don't know. Her name is just, I'm sorry. Um, like my kid has kind of a weird name and like my name is kind of weird, but Eleanor Queen is just kind of, I don't know. It just also insufferable. And like the daughter, there's nothing wrong with her really as a character. She wasn't annoying or anything, but maybe, you know, that kind of speaks toward Orla, Orla's character, how she named her daughter Eleanor Queen. And it's just always Eleanor Queen. And it, it, I'm just like, if I have to, see the words Eleanor and Queen together any longer, I will probably bust 
out of my clothes and like hulk and smash things because it's just so it was just so annoying and repetitive and i don't know kind of like a lot of this book just repetitive and i'm over it so that's how i felt about wonderland how quit that's how by the way he does not have very good camera etiquette he's not been on any zoom meetings he doesn't know that everything you do people can see sorry to get off topic but that's how i felt about wonderland i'm not saying that nobody will like this book because as i looked on goodreads i did see some good reviews about it uh i just i don't know and i don't even think that this is a case of like my standards being too high because like i can trudge through some stuff that is kind of really like the pacing is very slow but still think it's a good book you know what i mean but this was just i don't know so many things were a miss for me and i really think the overall like the climax of the plot and c what the characters do to fix the creepy things going on on their land is just like weird and kind of boring and i don't know i just didn't like it very much I ended up giving this two stars. Ratings are very subjective. I don't know. That's what I felt about it, I guess. Um, and like always, I'm never ever saying don't go out and buy this book because if you think that the plot is intriguing, maybe the pacing won't bother you so much. Maybe you will like the main character more than I did. That is so entirely possible. And um, I never do reviews like this to malign the author in any way because it's hard work writing a book. I just didn't like this one and I'm kind of disappointed in it. So I guess that's all I have to tell you about Wonderland by Zoya Stage. I do have an affiliate link for bookshop.org and I will have um, Wonderland on there under my new release list. I don't know. There's a list of books on there. You'll be able to find Wonderland easily if that's something you want to do. Bookshop.org helps support indie bookstores. And also by supporting something like bookshop.org, you're not supporting, not supporting uh, someone like Jeff Bezos who owns Amazon and just is basically putting every sort of business out of business. That terrifies me. Um, I'm not trying to be preachy. Anyways, that's all I have for you guys. Catch me in my next video. Goodbye.